Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, we're recording the video inside today because there's a lot of trucks driving around because they're building a house next to me. And that's why I'm also very happy that soon we will go to Thailand. So mid-November, we will leave to Thailand for the, with the family to go back to the roots where it all started seven years ago with a beautiful trip with the Bitcoin family. Now, um, let's quickly jump into the charts because we have a beautiful moment in history because we just had the close um, on uh, the 1st of November of course the opening of a new month on the monthly chart so let's quickly see what Bitcoin could be doing in November really cool check it This is the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see that the long flags of the Bam Bam indicator indicated it pretty well the last couple of times. At the moment, we are building a long flag again after this beautiful short. That short was a nice little profit over there of about, mm, let's see, let's say that we take it here. 1.6%, the max profit you could have taken is 2.6%. Um, but now we are building a long again and we can see the long flag over there but we need to close above the yellow stepping line uh, and this needs to be green and not yellow and this one needs to be above the white line but look the area that we can move is not that big so for me that is not a huge long that uh, we will see so it's a kind of risky trade i think we will be going sideways and then explode and uh, maybe later in the week or something like that but let's see what we see on the daily chart here on the daily chart we can see that exactly that move happened what i um, told you that could happen you know we said uh, we can go to the dotted yellow uh, to the dotted white line then break out of the other downward trend line then go up in my opinion we still should be hunting for the 22k level of course we went full force power up power up and um, sometimes you pull it back a little bit and then you go up again a little bit more so let's see if that will work um, if we look at the MACD at the bottom really positive we can see a decline in the greenish um, market situation at the moment so um, let's see how long it will take but for me the hunt will be for the 22 to the 24k level and I'm going to show you that on this beautiful chart on this monthly chart we just had a monthly close um, the close what was at a level of 20,500 let's say 20,500 uh, while the opening was at 19,500 we closed down to 1,000 US dollar above it and um, this new green candle that we can see being formed over there and um, I really like that one because you know we hit that 300 moving average now one time two times three times and all those three times I can draw them almost here almost there and almost there we bounced and we see these small wicks appearing and then a new wick forming and this new candle is going to close in 29 days in my opinion we are going to hunt for that red line over there the 200 weekly moving average that's at 23,800. i believe that this candle wants to move to that level um, and we can see in the bottom as well the MACD what I told you if we close this one in light pinkish uh, reddish whatever you color you see that's positive and we did and we are now creating another light pinkish one and mostly when we see that like I showed you last time in history for example over here that is the end of the bear market and then we slowly go up again grinding up again does that mean we can't wick down anymore yes we can we also saw that in the COVID crash we wick down but we came back so I'm looking in a monthly chart and a longer term vision. Bitcoin will be going up. In my opinion, the next bull run will be minimum times 4.5, um, but we could also easily do times 7. So that's between 80k and let's say 140k. Um, and if we get really bullish and a lot of stuff happens in the macroeconomic situation that is bullish, then maybe we could even go to 200k. And then we have another bull run after that, and another one after that, and another after that one after that should be just buying bitcoin and, and going for it instead of euros or dollars and um, treat bitcoin as your base currency and then you will be living the bitcoin standard but more about that in other videos now quickly jump into some other short uh, charts that really show you some amazing stuff over bam here and um, this is the first one this is the Meyer multiple. Um, I can't make the chart bigger, can I? No. The Meyer multiple, my face is in the front of the Meyer multiple, so I need to whoop, do it like this. The Meyer multiple, if you look in history, has always um, shown us when these bottoms are. And these bottoms are always when we are moving below the 0 0.8 level, the green line. 
if we are below that green line, that is mostly when we are in this bear market. Here, there was a huge bear market. Here, there was the bear market. You see, this, these are bearish moments. Uh, when we come above that green line, above the 0.8 level, um, we move towards the 2.4 level. And that 2.4 level is a little bit high, so we move around that green level for some time, and we slowly go up, 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 up and bam, then we come to the red line. The moment we touch that red line, that's the moment to sell. The moment we touch that red line, that's the moment to sell. The moment we went above the red line, it was the moment to sell. So we are moving below that line, coming above that line. What do you think that the next move is? I think we will go slowly grinding sideways for a year or whatever, and then go up all the way again to the 2.4 level. That is how it has been working and will always be working. In my opinion, bam, next chart. Um, we also have this beautiful chart. This chart shows you the Bitcoin short and long term holder MVRV Z score, guys. Um, on this chart, you can see a lot of information. Uh, the information that you need to keep an eye on is like, do you see, for example, here, that beautiful orange circle and that orange circle and this this orange circle. Uh, that should be the moment that we um, saw a bottom already. It is the moment that the green line is crossing above that dotted gray line again. The moment the green line crosses dot above that dotted um, gray line over there again. And here, we just started to move above it again with the green line. So that means at the moment that the short-term hodlers are moving above the long-term hodlers. And that is mostly when we saw the bottom already and when the sideways movement, the accumulation phase, as we call it, you should be accumulating Bitcoin starts and that will lead again to the bull run. Always the same moves, guys. We have a bottom, we start to accumulate and we start to enjoy the bull run. So if we look at the chart, just pause it for yourself and uh, see exactly how the lines look at the moment. But it pretty looks the same like every other uh, bull run that we have seen till now and also bear market of course now let's go into bam over here this one and this is the bitcoin price on this date because yesterday was of course the birthday of satoshi's white paper yesterday was 14 years ago that the white paper was released and this this is the price on that day that it was released it started here in uh, 2011 with three dollar we went to 11 200 and you can see that we always went up last year of course it was 60 that was a beautiful celebration and this year now we were at 20,300 it looks really nice you, you see an average all these um, bars are going up so the next two bars that we will see um, 2023 and 2024 in my opinion will be higher again now then there is the last chart that is this one and this chart shows you how many days bitcoin spends in certain uh, ranges so for example the range between 16 and 32k we spent 256 days now like it, it it feels for ages but it's only 20 uh, 256 days so it's uh, not that long yet if you look at the other compared um between 30 and uh, 65k we had almost 500 days and between 8 and 16 case we had 550 days so we can spend some more time between that uh, 16 and 30k before we move again up to the 30 and the 60k and we all move then up to the level of 60 and 130k that is how it works in bitcoin it's it's always moving in the same cycles and it does have different tops we had a double top over there a single top over there a double top over here maybe again a single top who knows bitcoin is always full of surprises but what we know it's deflationary nobody can take it from you i like it because of that i don't want to be in a situation that a bank can freeze my account and i don't have access to my money again because i don't uh, comply to what the government or the banks want me to do so for me bitcoin is a solution to the new style of living flexibility um, is the new stability for me as you know guys so um that was everything for today if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment and yes also comment oh diddy it's so bad that you don't do those videos every morning morning anymore because um, yeah you're too lazy yeah <laughs> i am too lazy i'm too busy at the moment um, arranging a lot of prepare, uh, preparing a lot of stuff uh, to get the beach bar close to get to thailand to uh, spend some time with fans and family over everywhere here so that's why i make a little bit less videos it's the bear market i can't say too much about the price because you know you should be buying i can make a video every day about the price but the lesson is 
buy always buy during the bear market keep buying dollar cost average at all those levels in the end you will be loving it uh, again when we are in the bull market now that was everything thank you for watching see you tomorrow again